is not just about what happens to us. It is about what we choose to be in the space of what happens to us. And that's the opportunity brought to us by this crisis. It gives us new eyes to see things that are possible that we didn't see before. I have a dear friend whose son's best friend is their blind dog. Now, they moved this past summer, and Augie, that's the dog, had a very difficult time. He wouldn't eat, he was shaking, he was panting heavily, and dear Abel became Augie's eyes. And everywhere he went, he would say, follow me, Augie, and Augie did until Augie was negotiating his way up the stairs, down the stairs, and around their new house, totally on his own. You see, we can't control the world around us, but we can control ourselves, and sometimes we can share our eyes with someone who feels blinded. Mama remembers when you and her were all up for dreaming of the things that you could do. All those you'll love, all those you won't, how you'll get by, how you will make this world your home. But if there's one thing you should know, it is not too Thank you.
heard the saying, life is 10% about what happens to you and 90% of how you react. In life, attitude is everything. It is what shapes our beliefs and our desires. Harsh times will occur throughout our lives, but it's really up to us as to how we interpret them. We can control our emotions despite any given situation. We can choose to live the way that we want to, no matter how rough it can get. We choose how we think about what happened. Is the glass half full? Is it half empty? Happiness expert Sean Acor says, we have the capacity to refill the glass or to change our outlook. The only environment that we have control in is our internal one. It's the way we interpret situations. That's the only control we have. Each day we're presented with a variety of situations and it really is up to us as to how we will react. There are things in the world that we can control and things that we just cannot. First and foremost, it's essential to accept the fact that not everything is in our control. Only then can we realize the impact that our attitude has on our experiences. As soon as we realize this, we can start to feel a greater sense of control in our life. It is about who you choose to be and how you choose to see the world. Thanks, Diana, for that great advice. We'd also like to thank Jeffrey Leathers for that original composition. We've watched Jeff grow up at the Hoagland Center for the Arts, and he's turned into quite an entertainer, and we really appreciate him sharing his talent and skill with us. That's it for this week's episode of Seize the Day. We hope that you share this with all of your friends on social media, and we hope you tune in again for the next episode right here on Facebook or the Hoagland Center for the Arts website at hcfta.org. So on behalf of Lee Steiner, Diana Kanabi, the Hoagland Center for the Arts, and Memorial Behavioral Health, this is Gus Gordon saying go out there and seize the day. Mm -hmm.